I have got to say, I have some of the most fun friends in the world. My favorite times with them though, are when we do something that is a little bit out of my comfort zone. When one of us gets a great idea to do something like over the top fun that we normally can't do if we just meet at a restaurant and go out to eat or something, I am game for it. It is just, it's fun to get, get out of the norm and go and do something extra special. Sometimes when you have a large family, you can get into situations or be around other people that don't quite appreciate your large family as much. But I'm so excited that today our family has an opportunity to go and be with some friends who have large families themselves and really appreciate and value children. And I'm so excited to take you guys along with us because today's gonna be extra special. We are shooting behind the scenes on our channel of making a music video on my friend Sarah's channel. We'll put a link so you can go and check that out. And then my other friend, Emily, you can check out her channel. She's gonna be doing the bloopers of all the fun stuff. So this is gonna be fun. I'm really excited to just have some time with friends and family and get to take everybody with us. Everybody's here and the kids are excited. Ah, the stink bugs are crazy today. Look at that thing. Get off. What's up guys? Hello. 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 This is Emily. Hello. <laughs> and then this is Sarah. <laughs> I love that this is only three families worth of kids here right now. How many kids do we have here? Collectively uh, between the three families. 17 and a half. 17 and a half. Woo! Woo! <laughs> it's actually a whole baby. Actually, it's like three quarters because we're almost there. All right. So, no, just a few more weeks. I've actually had the idea of doing a parody in the back of my head, and I could not get my family on game with it. So I was like, oh, bummer. But now I know that if I get a parody in my head and want to do something, I know who to call because this was awesome to be able to go shoot a music parody. I have no clue how it's going to turn out, how we're gonna like but it was so much fun and it'll be fun to watch back and have the memories of <laughs> did you fall and tried to get it did you the door wax <laughs> that's real life there <laughs> <laughs> watch out the door Dan. <laughs> no acting cold it distracts me <laughs> <laughs> Their music video is about big families, and so we've got our big family, then our friends have the same big car that we do, and then our other friends have an RV that they travel in. <laughs> Where do you sleep, Boone? Is this your bed? Nope, nope. on the bottom. It is warm in here. Have you ever been in an RV before, Hannah? This is pretty cool, isn't it? You got me some flowers? Thank you. I think I got the roots and all. I can go replant these and keep them growing. What are you guys playing? Are you winning? No. You're not winning. Not yet. Oh. Something that I struggled with a little bit last year was just accepting the number of kids that I have. And now at the season that I'm in right now, I love seeing so many kids around and especially knowing that it, the amount of kids that we had, we had 17 kids between our three families, about to be 18 kids and knowing that there's that many children from only three families brings me so much joy. I can't quite put my finger on it, except for just, I just feel just overflowing joy seeing that many children in these awesome families that we get to be friends with and partner with and enjoy life with and knowing that they also value large families. <laughs> oh no, oh, yay Toby! Home run! Good job, Toby! You did it! Give me a high five to the fence. All right. It's cool when you're playing with other kids and families who know how to play with the little kids, you know, make sure they have fun too. Are you having fun? Making friends, playing with friends? Why do you have so much dirt on your face? Because <laughs> it's a fun day, isn't it? You're so cute. Give me a fist bump. Yeah. It's been so life-giving to me to have friends that love to have fun and go do some crazy things and also have the same values whenever it comes to family, especially having a larger family. That wasn't something that I was personally seeking when I first got married, but over time, 
we had seven children <laughs> and it's been awesome in our area to see other families that are growing larger and larger and i feel like just being able to go get around them and have the support of each other to go and do something fun and just lift each other up has been huge for me it's been so important to see that each other in just different seasons of life because I've had a lot of dark seasons. They kind of helped lift me up in that and have fun still and and give me another family to see like, yes, you've got a large family and it is such a blessing and getting to see them in the different seasons of life when maybe their kids are a little bit older than my kids are at the time. Just be there to help each other out and encourage each other. That's been amazing. As a large family, how do you meet other large families and connect with them? <laughs> Church. Church? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah. It's, it's I where think that's we, how we connected with both of you guys, right? Yeah, it's where I've met all the large families I know is through church. That's right. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Homeschool conventions maybe yep. Home as Homeschool. Well. Um, anywhere else? That's really about it. You gotta be somewhat religious, I guess. <laughs> yeah. This is Brent, Emily has husband. You guys got hey. how many kids? Number six on the way? Number six on the way, so five and a half right now. So for other large families, you wanna know how do I connect with other large families, or would you say is a good place to go meet them? Good place. Uh, for, for us, it's been church. church. Even though we're not Catholic, we get asked that a lot. <laughs> you have so many kids, or are you Mormon. Catholic? <laughs> or yeah. Mormon, is that yeah. what you got? Yeah, yeah. that's what we get. <laughs> so yeah, church for church. us. Okay. And if they're not in the church or involved in a church, or would you have any other ideas? Uh, just being on sports teams or some kind of extracurricular activity. In the community. Yeah, in the yeah. community. It's great, yeah. When the three of us, when Sarah and Emily and I all met and started hanging out with each other, we did not have nearly as many kids as us. When we would go out to eat or go hang out at a park or something, we didn't completely take over the place like we do now. But the places that I got to meet them was finding a local church. That's been our biggest, because I feel like if you find a local church community that has the same values as you, that's a really easy place to be able to then find people within that church community to dig deeper and see if you have even more values on different areas of your life and family life and everything. So for me, that's the easiest place to find people. I've also met people by going to community events, like looking up what the local library's doing, and then also meeting friends through your friends. Are you gonna ride in there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah mommy. Probably even more important than my encouragement for myself of being around other large families has also been getting my kids around other large families because I want my kids to see that you're not the only one that lives in a big family compared to most people that we see at the stores and everything. And, and it just, I want them to feel some kind of normalcy. And I'm thankful for the area that we live in. I feel like large families are becoming a little bit more popular and people are starting to see the value of having more children. And I, I just love to be able to take my kids and be like, look, like they have a large family too. And the things that we struggle with are the same things that they struggle with. We get to enjoy these awesome things because we have so many family members in our family and they get to enjoy these awesome things too. And so I just, I want them to have so much positivity of who they are and see that their identity they're not the only ones with that identity, but there are others, and it's a good thing. They're getting ready to do a thumbnail, which is gonna be all of the moms up on the hoods of our big cars, big family cars. <laughs> and the pregnant one's up on the ladder. Slide down the... Do uh, Sarah just did it, easy. Do you mean to hold your hand? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even looking at her, I'm looking at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much I care. <laughs> We're at, we are done. The kids are running around the playground having fun, and the adults just get to sit around. Oh, yeah. Holding up iPhones <laughs> <laughs> so we can chat. This is Emily and Hello. Brent. They are the ones that had the giant RV, which cracked right. me up coming pulling up behind me. <laughs> But you I, love it. I do love but it. But you love it. I, I probably laughed for about a, at least a month when we bought our van. And so seeing <laughs> your bus is hilarious to yeah. me. So, we thanks. love it. We travel the country. We homeschool uh, our five kids. And we travel the country in our RV, I don't know, half the year. So, And they've got one on the way. And one on the way. So free range Burks. So we are. Go check out their YouTube channel. Yeah. So they take you on their adventures in the RV, which I know is a pretty hot topic right now, so 
and they're a great family. You're gonna love them. Hey guys, I'm Sarah from um, Sarah, AKA Mommy. My channel is full of like motherhood content, lots of like day in the lives, clean with me's, an emphasis on home decor. So if you like that kind of stuff, be sure to check it out. She's really good at home decor. I was texting Sarah like when I was trying to figure out our like paint colors for our house and everything. I'm so. trying to get her to let me just come decorate her whole house. It would make great content. It, it would. Yeah. I sh actually, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna work on that. Maybe collabs coming in the future. Yeah. <laughs> So make sure you go check out her channel as well. Yeah. I would love to hear from you the things that you enjoy doing with your friends and how you connect with other moms in your area. And let's just share some ideas and get some great ideas of what other fun things that we can do with each other um, to just encourage each other and find enjoyment in motherhood.